All right, everybody, big news today from Renewed Vision, the company that makes ProPresenter. ProPresenter is officially becoming a subscription-based software. Now, some of you might be rejoicing at that news, others of you might be groaning at that news. Whatever your reaction, let's kind of go through the release that they put out and see what it actually means for you and me and other churches who use ProPresenter or are maybe thinking about using ProPresenter coming up soon. So they put out a video today where they just kind of talked through what these changes look like, why they're making the change, and what it might mean for you and your church, whether you already use ProPresenter or you don't yet. I'll put a link to that actual video down below, as well as a link to their website where they have all of this new information. But it's pretty easy to find if you just go to their website, they've updated all of it to reflect all of this new pricing. It's officially live today. So let's take a look at their site and kind of see what's going on. So first of all, you jump on here and it's subscriptions, subscriptions, subscriptions. So they're touting this as really just a win for people because it's going to streamline the activation, introduce flexible billing, device management in their account center, and always up to date. Now, some of these are valid things. I really do think that the activation, the billing, the device management is kind of terrible with ProPresenter right now. If you guys are in charge of that, you know what I mean. So as far as that's concerned, I really do think that this is a win and it's going to be a huge step forward. From now on, you're going to actually manage all of your ProPresenter licenses and subscriptions and accounts all through an actual user account online, rather than having to have activation codes and go through email support and all of that. Now this last point, always up to date. I mean, if you were paying for the maintenance program already, then this is kind of a moot point, but sure, we'll throw it on there. So now we're gonna get to what subscriptions mean for you if we go through this point. And it kind of means different things depending on what state you're already in. So let's say you're already paying for ProPresenter Plus, which is their yearly maintenance fee. Well, yeah, they say not much is changing for you. In fact, they're gonna grandfather you into the price that you're actually already paying, so that's kind of nice. Also, I'm super annoyed that this keeps moving these, like just lock to one of them. Okay, that doesn't matter, but moving on. I will say they specifically mentioned that they're locking in your discounted rate for at least the next two years, which is great. That's super nice. They didn't have to do that, but saying at least the next two years, I'm gonna bet it's two years. So you're paying less now, but that won't be true forever. So if that's you, you'll just go through here, click through here, create an account and migrate to the new subscription plan and not much is gonna change for you. Now, what if you already have ProPresenter, but you don't have ProPresenter Plus and you're paying yearly for that? Well, you can start paying monthly or pay an annual fee and then you can get the most up-to-date version of ProPresenter, just like if you had their maintenance license. But you can also cancel your subs subscription and it seems like your perpetual license that you already paid for will still work with the version you already have. So basically, nothing will change for you today if you decide not to pay for the subscription, is how it sounds to me. I know a lot of people use ProPresenter like this, where they buy it up front, but then they never pay for the updates or ProPresenter Plus. And if this is you, great. Still, nothing really changes. But I think if you opt into this subscription model, I don't know that you can then stop later on. It's not super clear here, and I don't know that I would trust that you could do that. You might need to talk to their support team in order to figure out if that is actually a thing that works and if that's something that you wanna do. And finally, for people who are totally new to ProPresenter, well, you're just gonna have to sign up for a subscription. No more single payment and then yearly maintenance fee. That's just not an option anymore and you have to just start with the subscription. They do offer a 14 day free trial, which is great. And after that, you're gonna have the watermark on everything just like you do now. So what does it actually cost? Well, if we go on their site, if you're paying monthly, a single seat is going to be $29 a month and a campus is going to be $59 a month. Or if you wanna pay yearly, it's gonna be 289 and 649 respectively. Now, if you compare those to their current numbers, or sorry, their past numbers, it used to be a single license was $400 and then $189 a year for the maintenance fee. And a campus was $1,000 and then 469 a year. So if you do the math on this, it works out to about a three year break even point. So after about three years, you're actually gonna end up paying more for the subscription than you would have on this old pricing model. It's not a huge amount more, but it's there. And this is assuming that you're paying annually. If you're paying monthly, obviously that's gonna rack up a little bit more. It seems like you're gonna end up paying for one to two extra months over the course of a year. I mean, obviously this isn't a new thing. A ton of different pieces of software or other services that we use are subscription-based and they have a monthly plan and an annual plan. So really, it's almost just like ProPresenter is kind of catching up. They've been kind of weird, in my opinion, that they didn't do this before. But on the flip side, it does create this situation where you can no longer just pay once for the software and then use it forever, like a lot of churches with limited budgets have been doing for years. So that kind of stinks if you're a church in that situation, that's not gonna be an option for you anymore. Instead, you're gonna have to pay monthly. There's a quote from their video. Um, he 
He says, if you let your subscription lapse, the software will automatically be deactivated. If you let your subscription lapse, the software will automatically be deactivated. So that tells me if you pay for a monthly subscription or even an annual subscription, if you stop paying, then all of a sudden you're gonna be in a deactivated state. You're gonna have watermarks and everything where you can still use the software, but it will not be useful for actually using in-house. Now, again, this is just me interpreting what they said. It seems pretty clear, but I have not actually tested this myself. The stuff that they talk about with the account management and all of that truly does seem like it's going to be a big step up in terms of paying on time and transferring from device to device or anything like that. So. Huge kudos to the Renewed Vision team for that one. But the thing with subscription models that always kind of worries me a little bit is it just makes it that much easier for the prices to go up and up and up every single year, right? We see this with Netflix, we see this with Disney Plus or any other subscription that all of us have, right? Every year or two, we get an email that says, hey, by the way, your plane is getting a little bit more expensive or hey, by the way, the current subscription model that you're on is going away. You have to upgrade to one of these other ones. Now, I don't wanna say that Renewed Vision is a bad guy and they're definitely gonna do this, but it definitely makes it easier for them to do this because who's gonna be keeping up with what their month to month subscription is? And we don't really have any recourse. Again, you can't cancel it and keep using the software. So you're kind of stuck in this loop where you kind of have to keep paying no matter what it costs. Now that's a little bit of a cynical part of me, but here we are. Now, is this gonna be a huge change that will alter the course of presentation software in churches for the foreseeable future? No, I, I don't think so. Realistically, they're kind of just catching up with the state of software today, whether you like it or you don't. I don't. At some level, it does potentially make ProPresenter a more viable option for churches who maybe don't have a lot of upfront cash, but do have the amount of money to spend monthly on it. You're gonna be spending more, but you can also afford it, so. But with this announcement also comes just another reminder that maybe we need other options other than just ProPresenter. I've made a video about a free alternative to ProPresenter. You can see it up here. It's called Free Show, and it's not perfect, and I have never claimed it is but it is an alternative and it continues to get better and better. It's an open source software. And if you're interested in that in light of these recent price changes, then go ahead and take a look at that video that's linked up here and maybe it'll be interesting for you. My church probably won't be moving away from ProPresenter due to this. Again, at this point, we're grandfathered into the pricing and realistically moving forward, it's not gonna be that much more expensive, but it is something that we need to consider now that this has happened. So how do you guys feel about it? Do you feel like this makes sense? Do you feel like this is just them trying to get a few extra dollars from us month to month. Is this just the state of the software world that we live in? We'll kind of see if other changes are coming as a result of this or kind of what the public sentiment is towards it. I think if there's any kind of outcry, I think it'll all blow over pretty quick. Again, it's not that big of a deal, but it is a significant change to the landscape of ProPresenter for now. So, but I hope this was helpful for you guys to just learn what's going on. Again, I've linked the whole video down below as well as a link to ProPresenter's site um, in case you want any extra information there. Till next time.